Artificial intelligence could change the future of education. ChatGPT allows users to enter in themes, prompts, and guidelines in. From there, the AI formulates a response as if a human wrote it. I spoke with leaders at Wake Forest University. They say AI is a threat to education, but could also be a useful tool. Improving the educational experience of students is a top priority for Dr. Betsy Berry. As the executive director for the Center of Advancement of Teaching at Wake Forest University, she works to find innovative teaching practices for faculty. Her latest project, how to address the use of artificial intelligence. I think, you know, it's still very new for all of us. And so we're still all, like in many industries, trying to figure out, first of all, what is artificial intelligence and thinking through how it works and where it might be in five to ten years, but also how is it going to impact the way we teach. This so. past spring, Dr. Barry conducted a series of forums and panels for faculty to discuss AI and how it could transform the classroom. The biggest concern? The potential for academic dishonesty. Instead of doing the work themselves, uh, using it to submit work um, that they didn't actually do. So if we give a student a prompt on an essay, they might just type that prompt in and get a response from ChatGPT and send it back. She says faculty was also concerned that over-reliance on the technology could compromise students' ability to learn independently. They may not actually learn as much as they could. So I think that's really a thing that worries me is that if more and more students start using it um, in ways to make their life easier in some ways it may actually make things harder for them if uh, they're not actually learning the things they need to learn uh, as they leave uh, university though many questions remain about the dangers of ai dr barry says embracing it could potentially benefit both educators and students this includes assisting in curriculum planning for teachers and tutoring for students and so it's a, a special kind of intelligence. Matt Garrett is an assistant professor of English at Wake Forest. His students began collaborating with AI technology in the fall of 2022. And so I wanted to try to model for students a way we could interact with um, language generators uh, that was inspired by a sense of uh, love and trust rather than fear because I think AI has historically been represented in a dystopian light in the history of science fiction narratives of the past half century or more. What would you say are the benefits of collaborating with technology in this way? I don't think of it as one that is necessarily, that has to be uh, ranked hierarchically as superior to human intelligence or needs to be tested in terms of how well it matches human intelligence. It's just a different type of intelligence. And so when we collaborate with other intelligences, uh, that diversity of knowledge and language use uh, can can create openings for for aw awesome, novel, unprecedented uh, new ideas to emerge. When we talk about higher education, is artificial intelligence something we should be afraid of? You know, I don't think AI is going away anytime soon. We need to help our students understand it, so understand how it works, but also understand when they shouldn't use it or why they might not want to use it or to help them prepare for a world in which they might be the people regulating or making policy about how AI should be used or not used within society.